Have you ever noticed how they skimp on pizza toppings all the time? What if I told you that the next time this happens, you can use math to present your case for more toppings? Basically, the amount of toppings compared to the size of the pizza is something that can be expressed mathematically in the form of a ratio. In this lesson, we'll look at part-to-whole ratios. For starters, to find the amount of toppings to a whole pizza, use a part-to-whole ratio. This will tell you the comparative value of toppings to crust. For example, we have seven pepperonis on this one pizza, so our ratio here is seven to one. In part-to-whole ratios, one of the pieces of information given is based on the whole. Let's take a look at an example problem that involves part-to-whole ratios. In a bag containing only two colors of marbles, the ratio of red marbles to green marbles is two to three. If there are 800 marbles in the bag, how many are red? The answer choices represent quantities of the marbles. First, we want to underline the facts. In this case, two colors of marbles, ratio of red marbles to green marbles, two to three, and 800 marbles in the bag. Next, we want to circle key terms. In this question, the key term is how many are red. This is what we're going to find out. So let's label the answer choices number of red marbles. Now we're prepped to begin solving. We're told that the ratio of red to green marbles is two to three, and that there's a total of 800 marbles in the bag. We have the information we need, but what do we do with it now? We need to write a pair of equivalent fractions. To do this, we write part over whole equals part over whole. We need to set up an equation using this information. We have two red marbles over total marbles equals x red marbles over 800 total marbles. Remember, the same units of measure are across from each other in our equation. To figure out how many total marbles we have in the fraction on the left, let's draw a picture. We have the ratio of two to three, so we want to draw two circles and label them R for red. Then draw three more circles and label them G for green. This shows us that the ratio of red marbles, two, to total marbles, five, is two to five, or two-fifths. That means that in our equation, we have five total marbles in the denominator of the fraction on the left. So, our equation becomes two red marbles over five total marbles is equal to x red marbles over 800 total marbles. Let's cross multiply. Two times 800 equals five x. 800 times two gives us 1600. So we have 1600 equals five x. We need to isolate the variable x by dividing both sides of the equation by five. Since one of the math sections doesn't allow a calculator, let's practice our long division. 1600 divided by five is 320. So we have x equals 320. B is our correct answer. X was our variable for the total number of red marbles, and now we have our answer. Now it's time for a pause and solve. That's right, we'll go through another problem together. But before we do, you'll have a chance to solve it first. So grab some paper and a pencil. We'll take a look at the problem, and when I say pause, You'll pause the video, solve the problem, and then play the rest of the lesson to compare our work. In a mixture of raisins and dates, the ratio by weight of raisins to dates is seven to three. How many pounds of raisins will there be in seven pounds of this mixture? The answer choices are all numbers in decimal form. Okay, ready, set, pause. So, how was that? Did you get B as the correct answer? If so, awesome. If not, no worries. Either way, let's go through the problem together. If you didn't get the right answer, this is a great opportunity to see how you can. We'll start by circling the keywords and underlining the facts. We'll also label the answer choices as the weight of raisins. So we know that the ratio by weight of raisins to dates is seven to three. Writing out seven R's for raisins and three D's for dates, we see that we have seven out of 10 pounds of raisins and three out of 10 pounds are dates. In other words, seven-tenths of the mix by weight is raisins. To find the weight of the raisins in a seven-pound bag, we'll set x as the weight of the raisins and set up our equation as seven-tenths equal to x over seven. Now we want to cross-multiply. So we get seven times seven equal to 10 times x, which gives us 49 equals 10x. Dividing both sides by 10, we get x equals 4.9 or that the weight of raisins in a seven pound bag of the raisin and date mix is 4.9. Looking at our answer choices, choice B is 4.9. Let's circle it because that's the right answer. 
So when the SAT gives a ratio and a total quantity, or asks for a total quantity, we can use part to whole ratios and set up equivalent fractions. Make sure to take advantage of the hundreds of practice questions throughout this course so you can get this concept nailed down.